Almost around 100 of our foreign enemies who are currently in British prisons could be freed in 2022, despite the fact that they still want to destroy us. We have a weird system right now where you get to serve two thirds of your sentence and if you are public enemy, the enemy of the state and the ordinary people in this country, then you could apply. You know, you go to the parole board and you could say, I've been a good boy and then you'd be let out and then you cause trouble again. 92, 92 of our foreign enemies who are currently in jail in Britain could be freed in 2022. Why? I understand that the judiciary needs to be reformed, sentencing needs to be toughened and they have indicated by the way, like you have people like Dominic Robb and others who keep talking about it, say they're going to make some changes and we're, we're still waiting for the changes. I understand the bureaucracy takes months and years to, to make tiny changes to legislations but having said that, this needs to be stopped somehow. This is not a good look for Britain on the international stage and for the sake of public protection. Now these guys, the public at the parole board, they say that their priority is public safety and public protection. They say, they are, we can assure you, we're not going to accidentally let anybody out who's going to cause more trouble. How, if, if we knew, if we already knew that certain people who have aims and objectives, if they say, now we're not going to, I'm not going to do anything now, then we say, fine when we just allow, allow them to live. Just let them go you know, every single day, being a threat publicly, but because they've said they're not gonna do anything. They've been a good boy. This is escalating because the cases that we are talking about, yes, it's a tiny percentage compared to the rest of the parole board's case laws. Uh, so fewer than 100 uh, out of roughly 16,000, but that, a hundred, fewer than a hundred out of this 16,000. You just need two. I mean, the, the, the cliche, the phrasing is you, you only need one. But I'm just going to say, you know, even three or four or one <laughs> would cause trouble. And then people's lives will be lost. The, this, the absolute uh, guarantee that this country is safe, the whole concept will be undermined. The international stage and international community will not look at us the, the same way that they've been judging us until now. And now you wonder why we think well it's only 92 some of them might not come out this is in addition to thousands and thousands of others who are already freely walking around the streets in the uk there are already foreign enemies who some of them in the name of illegal migration they're, they're still illegal migrants because they failed their application process and they have not been deported they're just walking around this is not to say for the left is watching it i'm not saying that every single person who's an illegal migrant who's been rejected is a foreign enemy no 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 but well first they've broken the rules but not that there are definitely infiltrations and there are definitely people who um, pretend to be um, nice migrants and nice refugees but in reality they are our enemies and they are walking around freely so 92 is a lot because these people have been convicted, but there is still a lot more out there. And we still need to deal with them as well as these 92 that could be freed in 2022. Let me know what you think. We're going to have a couple of more updates for you guys throughout the evening before we get to New Year's Eve. And on that note, Happy New Year's, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video because we are the media.